Well, here's my old worn out 345B. This is a Series 2 AGS prefix machine. Need to uh, move it about 125 miles so it can go to work. So, in order to do that, it needs to lose a little bit of weight. It weighs about 102,000 as it sits right here. The other way that it's specced and everything, the bucket that's on it. So, what I want to do is pull the counterweight off of it. The counterweight weighs about 17.6. And then the bucket weighs right at 5,000. So I pull those two things off and that'll get the machine down to about 80,000. It makes it quite a bit easier to move around here. I'll show you how you come up with the operating weights for these machines. So this is a page out of the Caterpillar Specalog for a 345B Series 2. This up here is kind of what they consider to be a standard machine. So you can see that the weight on that is 97,940. So the machine that I've got is a little different than this. Uh, this specifies a 48 inch 2.38 yard GP bucket, which in another page of this same spec log, it shows that that particular bucket weighs 3,400 pounds. The bucket that I've got is a three yard ESCO. It's a little heavier than that. So it actually weighs 4,930 pounds. I've had it on a scale. So that's a difference of 1,530 pounds. Um, and then these are some other options that you might have. In this case, my machine has the 36 inch track shoes, so that adds 1,650 pounds. And it also has the counterweight removal device, which adds 850 pounds. So you come down here, there's the standard machine weight, spec like this. There's the 1,530 extra pounds for the bigger bucket. There's the 1,650 pounds for the 36 inch track shoes. And then there's the 850 for counterweight removal. That gives you a grand total of 101,970. And then I think these numbers are usually at half fuel. So you fill the thing up with fuel, throw a little dirt and grease on it, and you're over 102. So this machine has the counterweight removal option. About half of them do and about half of them don't this one does so what that means is there's a cylinder up in here and then up there on top there's some chains and sprockets and what all that does is it'll actually set the counterweight down on the ground off the machine and then it'll also pick the counterweight back up to the height of the bolt hole so that you can put the bolts back in it when you go to put the counterweight back on there's a couple valves in here you turn a little switch you flip and then there's the control lever not much to it really All right, first thing we got to do is get these bolts out, which that may get pretty interesting. These are supposed to be around 2,000 foot-pounds, so we're going to give the old one-inch Milwaukee a uh, pretty good test here. I'm going to fire it up. We'll take a little weight off. Take a little weight off first, off the bolts, and then we'll pull them out. Yeah, two and eight. Where's the your battery? Yeah, it's on the track over there. Now that we've got the gun going the right direction, let's try this again.
right, so we got her picked up here. We got most of the bolts out. Last one. getting this last wheel and tire off this truck I picked this piece of shit up out of a landfill here a while back I think I got some video of that I wonder what's wrong with these D9Ts I'd like to have one of them unfortunately that's what I got
All right, start number two. Got a little pressure. Boys are trying to move dirt, it's just about too wet though. on this thing that's uh, a lot of money right there four of them the back two are new but the front four are it's worth a hell of a lot more than I gave for the whole truck I'm assuming that they'll air it up and everything but I think they will they're just nearly brand new the landfill is using that truck to haul each eight see the tank sitting back there and uh, leachate's real corrosive to metal apparently so these wheels have been pretty tough to get apart these back two here are the worst what I've been doing is taking one of these rings from another wheel you can sit it on top of here on top of this part of the five piece wheel then you can push down on that ring and it'll push that apart I mean normally they'll come right apart with just a little tap but not when they're stuck together like this So I had the whole front end of this excavator off the ground pushing on that and it finally broke loose. I'm putting the four new tires that came off of it on this here dirt hauling rig. Four brand new Bridgestone Radial 29.5 R25s. What a deal. <laughs> 